All right, in this video, we're going to do a, another problem related to instantaneous rate. And in this case, we've got a little word problem here. So we've got the rate of production of a toy uh, can be ter determined by the production formula P of T equals 1200T minus 50T squared, where P of T is the number of units produced in a given time, and T is the time in hours since the factory began shift. So we want to figure out at what time does the rate of toy production equal 600 units per hour and at what time does the rate of toy production stop. So again anytime you see this this rate of change okay so the rate of toy production uh, rate of toy production again rates of change have to do with the derivative so we're simply going to take the derivative of this function again using our limit definition so we'll do the limit as uh, careful here so we'll do the limit as h approaches 0 we'll do our function um, in this case normally we write f but since this is our, we've named our function p we'll do p of t plus h minus p of t all over h so let's start plugging some stuff in there so we'll get the limit as h approaches 0 and again, everywhere that there's a t, I'm just going to plug in t plus h. So we'll have 1,200 times uh, t plus h minus 50 times t plus h quantity squared. And then from that, we'll subtract away the original function. So we'll subtract away 1,200t uh, minus 50t squared. And that's all being divided by h. So now we're just going to have to do a little bit of simplification here in our numerator. So we'll get the limit as h approaches 0. We would have 1200t plus 1200h when we distribute that out. Um, I'm going to do a, a couple steps at once. Again, if we distribute, uh, if, we, if we FOIL our t plus h times t plus h, we would get a t squared. But then our negative 50 would give us negative 50t squared. Um, we would get a t plus h times a t plus h, which would be 2th, but then times the negative 50 will give us negative 100t times h. Um, and then we would have h times h, or h squared, but again the negative 50 will give us negative 50h squared. Okay, we still have to subtract away our uh, other stuff here, so let me try to squeeze that in here. So we've got minus 1200t. And then when we distribute, we get plus 50t squared. Okay, so try to squeeze all that in there um, over h. And now uh, we can just simplify the numerator. So we would have the limit as h approaches 0. Um, our 1200t would cancel out with the negative 1200t. The negative 50t squared would cancel out with the positive 50t squared. And then I don't see much of anything else, uh, any other like terms to combine. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to factor the h out as well. So I could pull the h out and then multiply that by 1200 to get our 1200h. Uh, we could multiply by negative 100t to get um, our second term that's remaining in the numerator. And then uh, we would have negative 50h. Again, all of that is being divided by h. Well, we can just cancel out our h's. Um, and now if we plug in h equals 0, um, when we plug in h equals 0, we'll just be left with 1200 minus 100t uh, minus 50 times 0. Or we'll finally have our derivative 1200 minus 100 times t. Alright, so we've now got um, a formula for our derivative. And what we're going to do now again, so part A it says at, at what time does the... Uh, rate of toy production equals 600 units. So here's our formula P prime of T. Well, all we have to do, we want to figure out when the production equals 600, so we'll actually plug 600 into the right. Okay, and then we'll solve for our time T. So 1200 minus 100 T, we want that to equal 600. Well, um, I'm going to do sort of uh, two things at once. I'll add the 100t over. I'll subtract the 600. So 1200 minus 600 would just be 600. Um, we can divide by 100, divide by 100, and then we'll get t equals 6. 
So it says six hours after the shift began, that's when the production will equal 600 units. Uh, the last thing that we'll need to do, um, we want to figure out for part B, at what time does the rate of toy production stop? So if the toy production stops, that's when uh, the rate of change equals zero. So now we have to solve this equation. Okay, so again, our derivative, P prime, was 1,200 minus 100 T, and now we'll set that equal to zero. Well, we can again just add the 100 T over to the right side. And then if we divide both sides by 100, we'll just get T equals 12. So 12 hours later, uh, the rate of toy production stops. Okay, so maybe these people have, uh, you know, long work days, they have to work 12 hour shifts and after 12 hours everything's done so hey the rate of production stops. So alright um, again main idea in this case is you gotta take the derivative uh, still we're just using the definition to take the derivative and then in this case it's a matter of setting it equal to 600 setting it equal to zero and then solving those equations.